Hey, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to simplify your style so that it's easy, effortless, and makes you feel beautiful. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Netta. My whole goal here is to help you feel confident in your style, conquer style over 40, feel beautiful in what you wear so that you can just do all the things you need to get done in a day, right? It's not just about putting on cute clothes and looking in the mirror, although that's nice, but it's, you know, about having the confidence and the, the energy that comes with feeling really good about the way that we look. I know that it increases my productivity and, en and enhances my day when I look and feel my best, and I want that for you. So I know that I cover a lot on this channel and that sometimes it can be overwhelming, like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm making the right choices. Like, are, are all of these things that I'm wearing, are they all frumpy or are they all unflattering? You know, like, is this stuff dated? I don't know what I'm doing. Like, all of the, th and I know, I know it can feel like I'm throwing a lot at it at you. And if you're watching other YouTube channels, which I'm sure you probably are, um, there's just so much information out there, right? There's just so much information. How do we keep it from being overwhelming and streamline it so that it works with real life? Um, and so that you're not just tempted to just throw your hands up in the air, give up on style and say, I'm just going to be in my PJs or sweats for, for the rest of my life. I'm not going anywhere anyway. Why do I need this, right? I promise you, it really can be simple. The topics that I share on my YouTube channel are really designed to help you see things things in a, in a more fresh and contemporary way. But that doesn't mean that you've got to, to follow everything to a T. And what you need to do is figure out what works for you, right? Find your own system, find your own um, happy place when it comes to style and just do that. You don't need to take in all the information. Um, I do because I'm a stylist, but you only need to figure out what works for you, right? You just need to be an expert on you. You don't need to be an expert on it all. So I'm going to share some strategies today that I genuinely hope will help you streamline the whole process of getting dressed and simplify style for you, both here and here, right? And kind of help take out the mental clutter of, of getting dressed. So Years ago, it's, it, it started becoming trendy for people to have like a uniform or one look that they wore on repeat. And there was this this article that, that went around, and I'll share it in the description box, of this woman in New York who wore the exact same outfit every single day for a year to work. I mean, she just, she just had a uniform. She just wore that uniform every single day. And that was her that was her look and she talked about how freeing it was um most of us don't want to wear the exact same thing every single day but having systems and having uniforms and having go-to's is really really essential you know everyone talks about um uh, Simon Cowell and even Steve Jobs, and they all had a lot of really successful, really busy people have uniforms because it gives them one less thing to think about um if any of you watch, what's the the four hour work week guy, Tim Ferriss, um, that was his thing. Like make some decisions automatic so that you don't even have to think about them. Like automatically eat the same thing for breakfast, automatically make your coffee the same way. Like we only have a certain number of decisions we can make in a day mentally. And so we want to streamline that process. So that leads me into my very first tip, which is have a go-to casual outfit formula for very lazy days. So on days when just getting dressed really feels like a hassle and you just don't want to do it and you just really, last thing you either have time for or you have the mental space for is to think about what you're going to wear. Um, if you can have on, on, on days when you're not as busy and not as tired, if you can come up with three pre-picked and pre-hung outfits that you put in your closet for really busy, really lazy, really crazy days, um, that will be a lifesaver. So choose three outfits, hang them together, hang the, hang the top and bottoms or you know everything together and put them at the front of your closet. And then in the next week, if you've got a really busy week, if you, I mean, really busy day, if you've got a really tired day, if you're really in a hurry, you just are not feeling it, you can just grab that outfit, put it on and be done with it and know you're going to look cute. So come up with three go-to lazy day or busy day outfits, depending on your lifestyle, whatever you want in terms of level of casualness, but um, come up with those outfits, hang them in your closet and just know that you're ready for whatever the day or the week brings you. You've got those go-to outfits. You can just put them on whenever you, when you know, whenever you're in a pinch. Okay, so that's my first step is to just have some pre, 
pre-chosen, pre-conceived outfits. Um, I really like outfit formulas for this, but this is even taking it to the next level. You're putting the outfits together, you're hanging them all together. Okay, the next thing I want is um, to encourage you to do is to eliminate decision fatigue when it comes to basic basics. And by basic basics, I'm talking about your bras, your underwear, your socks, even your t-shirts have a go-to in each of those categories. So for example, um, one of my clients recently ordered the Bombas, I think it's pronounced Bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S socks. They're super, super comfortable. And when we were trying to decide what color socks to order, I said, get all the socks in the same neutral color. It can be white, it can be black, it can be beige. Whatever neutral color you want, get all of the same socks in, all of the, in, in the same color. Um, Oh my goodness, would that make your sock drawer so much easier to manage, right? Like how many of us really need crazy socks? Unless you're wearing socks as a statement accessory and you're doing something really interesting with them, which I'm totally not. I wear no-show socks that don't show through my sneakers or my boots. Um, and I, I do have a couple of higher pairs that I wear with boots, but that's it. Otherwise, you really just need the basic neutral footy sock, most of us, or an athletic sock if you're running. And you want them all to be the same. You want them all to be the same, same color, same style, super easy. You don't even necessarily have to attach them to each other if you don't want to. They can just go in your sock drawer however you want them in a way that's organized for you. And you can just grab two pairs of socks and, and put them on and not think about your socks, right? It's the same thing with underwear. If you know that you have a go-to style fabric um, that you that you love, that you find comfortable, that works underneath all of your clothes. You don't want any panty lines. You don't want to have to worry about changing underwear or changing bras when you're um, getting dressed. If you decide you want to change your top, it should work with what you're wearing. So having a go-to like t-shirt or seamless bra in a nude color and maybe making all of your bras that nude seamless bra that is your go-to that you find comfortable that you like the silhouette of that you know is supportive that you can wear through the day just buying that same bra on repeat having a few of them in your rotation buying the same underwear so maybe i think the one of the most versatile for most women is a, a pair of seamless underwear in um, a, a color that's close to your skin tone. So that's really what you want in bra and, and underwear. Like you want seamless, you want it to not show through clothing, and you want it to be in a color that's close to your skin tone. Is this the really pretty delicate, you know, lingerie underwear that we wear for special occasions? No, this is the everyday basic. You pull it on, you, you, you don't worry about it. You don't think about whether it's going to show underneath your clothes. You don't second guess it. You're not like, oh, should I do black? Oh no, well, black isn't going to work underneath this. Should I do fuchsia? No, fuchsia only work. And then this bra has lace and the lace shows through my knit top and it's just overly complicated. So bras, underwear, socks, keep them super simple. And again, with tees, you know, if you know that you've got a, a brand of t-shirts um, that work for you, and you like the you, you know the size you know the, you know the brand you just buy that t-shirt on repeat it's the same thing with other really basic basics like if you're um, i have a, a friend who buys old navy shorts every spring she knows that old navy shorts fit her she knows exactly the style that fits her she just buys the same one another friend does the same thing from j crew every spring she just buys a few new pairs of j crew shorts she knows the length she knows the style she knows they're going to fit her so just having some things like that pre-decided not everything not everything needs to be um, complicated and, and a big decision. If you can just simplify some of the, the, the little details of getting dressed, then the other things that you really wanna put a little bit more thought into, you've got a little mental energy left for those, right? Um, okay, so the next thing, and it kind of goes along with my first point about the outfit formulas, it's picking your outfits in advance. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You can pick your outfit the night before, which I have been doing since childhood. I put my outfit out the night before. It makes mornings so much easier, so much more streamlined. And I will tell you, the very rare occasion when I've not put my outfit out the night before, I wake up in the morning and I do not want to get out of bed because I don't want to have to go pick an outfit. Even though I love picking outfits and it's an easy thing for me, it's not something I, I want to do first thing in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I pick them the night before and then I just get up in the morning and I put them on. Um, you can also do this on a Sunday. It's, it's such a 
um, freeing thing to kind of look at your calendar on Sunday afternoon and say, what do I have coming up and how do I need to dress for it? Um, if you're not doing that much, then, you know, your, your outfits are probably going to look similar from day to day. You're I'm similar level of casualness or dressiness. If you're doing a little bit more and you're out and about more, then you're going to have different outfits for your different events. So if you're like, Oh, Wednesday, I've got an appointment and I've got a lunch. You're going to dress differently on Wednesday than on Monday, which is catch up around the house day, whatever, whatever that looks like in your week. That's what, my week looks like whatever that looks like in your week you want to pick outfits um for the week just kind of hang them at the beginning of your closet and just have them ready to go just simplifies 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 your life obviously you know if the weather changes the weather's kind of all over the place here in florida right now you might want to make alterations but it really can just set you up for a successful and stress-free week when it comes to style okay the next thing i want to talk about is having a minimum viable makeup look is it minimal or minimum minimum Minimal, I don't know. Minimum viable makeup look. But basically you want a makeup look that is a no-brainer. Um, because I was a beauty editor in a former life and I'm obsessed with makeup, I used to feel like every time I put on makeup, I was reinventing the wheel. I was trying something different. I was trying a new technique. I was tweaking. I was playing with. I was doing something different. And what that does is it makes the process of applying makeup a lot more complicated. Um, if you're having a casual day, you need a makeup look that you can put on that is a total no-brainer. You want it to be easy, you want it to be effortless, you want it to be quick. So my easy, effortless, quick is I apply my um, my sunscreen product and then I apply um, a, a like a CC cream or BB cream product, massage that into my skin on really, really quick mornings. Um, or I'll do a dusting of mineral powder foundation really, really quick, a little lip color, and then my eyebrows um, and a little, a little bit on my cheeks. I can do that whole thing in honestly three minutes. And so I do that every single day. Occasionally I'll take a day off from makeup completely just to let my skin rest, but I pretty much do that, that, Every day, easy peasy, anytime I'm not gonna be on camera, anytime I'm having a really casual um, day, it's two to three minutes and it just makes me feel fresher, happier and prettier all day long. Even if I'm at home um, on my computer or picking up around the house or whatever. So you want that easy peasy, no brainer makeup look that makes you feel fresh and pretty. Okay, the next a tip that I have for simplifying your style it might be a little controversial because we all have them in our closets. We're all holding on to them, but um, it's to skip fussy pieces. There are things in our closets that once we put them on, we we immediately start playing with them. We have to do things to them to make them work. We like are always adjusting them all day long and um, playing with the the you know the belt or tucking or untucking or doing all sorts of weird things to it to make that that piece of clothing work. It's a fussy piece of clothing. It's not easy to wear. Um, for me with curly hair, one of those things that are fussy are tops with buttons right here at the back of the neckline um, because they pull at my hair. And all day long, my hair is being pulled. By the end of the day, my hair is all fluffy and frizzy because um, my, my uh, hair gets attached to my tops. Something like that is not something I'm going to reach for. I know I'm going to skip past it and go to the next item in my closet. So why have that item in your closet to begin with? Why wear fussy clothes that you're going to have to be bothered with all day long? I will say one thing about constantly readjusting our clothes and playing with clothes and fussing with clothes is that it's a confidence killer. Not only is it frustrating and annoying and we really just want to put on clothes and just go on with our day and feel great in what we're wearing, but it's a confidence killer. If you walk into a room and you're like, oh, is this skirt on straight? It keeps turning around. It's a confidence killer. So there's no reason to have fussy clothes in your life. Have clothes that fit you and are effortless when you put them on. They feel great when you put them on. The only exception to this, of course, is if you're going to a more formal occasion or a formal event, you're going to need to wear things maybe sometimes that require a little bit more attention to, to detail and you might want to increase the fussiness factor a little bit. But otherwise, otherwise, um, you want to keep it simple. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about when it comes to simplifying your style is to stick to a signature color palette. So does that mean you can't wear any color, you know, every color that you want? Well, yes, I guess if you're sticking to a signature color palette. But um, a lot of times, one of the things that gets really uh, 
complicated in our styles that we've got too much going on and things don't go with everything. So if you really want your style to be simple, sticking to four to six colors in your color palette um, can, can really streamline the process. If you're a big color person like I am, that might not work for you. Maybe you choose the crazy, fun, unusual colors in one-off items like dresses that don't need to coordinate with the rest of your closet. But when you're talking about separates, tops and bottoms, you really want to make sure you've got the bases at least covered in your signature color palette. So if you choose a couple of neutrals, mine are white and black, and then you choose a couple of colors, then you'll find that you've got this versatility in your wardrobe and you don't have to try so hard to create great outfits with what you've got in your closet. Things will come together a lot more easily. So sticking to a color palette helps give you that versatility in your wardrobe and it makes getting dressed so much simpler. Um, again, for fun colors, for um, for you know trend colors, for things that you want to add to the mix, keep those in dresses or jumpsuits, and keep the separates in your color palette whenever possible. And you're going to have um, a much easier time putting together uh, cute outfits every single day. Okay, the final thing that I want to talk about is um, brands because there is nothing wrong. There's so much um, that has been said about, oh, you know, you're going to get stuck in a rut or, you know, it's not, uh, you need to mix it up a little. And honestly, that depends on your lifestyle and that depends on um, your goals with your style. If your goal is to make your style simple, then finding a few brands that can be your go-to brands that you know fit you, that really fit your style aesthetic fit, fit your style personality that you respond to that you love those can be your go-to places and you can shop there first and then fill in the blanks with any you know for any other additional pieces that you need but it can be really really freeing to say oh my goodness this brand knows me they know me all of the stuff makes me so happy i love it it fits it flatters this is my go-to um and you know you may you may have a couple of those two to three four um, brands that you shop regularly and if you don't then that would be my encouragement to you i have a personal style um brands catalog that i'll share in the description box and you can kind of go um you know, you can you can look at the, the clothes if you've got like a relaxed or natural style. You can look at the preppy, you can look at the classic, you can look at the creative, and you can say, huh, there are a couple of brands here that are so me. And when you find a couple of brands that are so you, it's so freeing because you really can shop those brands confidently and know that you're you're um you're going to feel like you're wearing clothes that just express who you are um, and there's nothing wrong with falling back on the tried and true brands that really work for you as long as they're really flattering and as long as they suit your personal style it just simplifies life to not say you know we have so many more options than women have ever had in terms of shopping and it can be really overwhelming to be like well i need to do some spring shopping let me check 75 different websites and find stuff no um by the time you're you're done with the second or third website you're going to be wiped out have those go-to websites start with your go-to brands and that will really really simplify the process of updating your wardrobe of shopping and of of styling your your outfits so i hope that that was helpful just really wanted to show you that this doesn't need to be any at the very least we don't need to make this any more complicated than it has to be right let's simplify where we can simplify and strategize and be you know and be focused on the things that we should focus on not everything needs to be um you know a big decision from day in to day out let's let's make this as streamlined and simple as possible so that we can get up get dressed and feel amazing every single day. So I hope that you like this. I would love to hear your comments below. I'd love to hear whether you want me to go into one of these topics a little bit more, whether this was helpful to you, whether you want to see more videos like this. Um, definitely let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get a little notification every time I upload new videos, every Tuesday and every Friday. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.